Footsteps, the number one being face like three's company. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Jehovah Witnesses. They always come in pairs of threes. But don't worry about that joke, guys. I love going to church, man. I go to church almost every Sunday alongside with Jessica. So, you know, when I say that, it's all in good fun. I don't want to see no religious comments talking about, yo, God will deliver you from evil because he already has. Anyway, yo, I paralyzed this Requaza on the switch. Lovely. After I'm able to put off the Deoxys defense to sleep, but he catches me off guard with the V-Create. So I'm like thinking like, yo, I got the Dark Pulse. I could potentially power flinch his Requaza to oblivion. So I'm thinking like, all right, this guy's going to want to destroy everything in sight with the outrage. So I'm thinking like, all right, perfect time for me to set up my entry as with the Fortress. Nope. I'm wrong, and on top of that, he brings in his girl, Laquanda. Last video, I was talking about how people should go to the social security office when they have piss poor names and change their names because, like, stuff like businesses and stuff won't take you seriously. Son, what are you doing with the name called Laquanda? I'm not no Section 8 clown. I'm offended by this. You on the other side of the seat talking about War Star, War Star? Is that the kind of flow, the kind of A class example that you setting for everybody watching you, A Star? Huh? That's what you about, homeboy? That's not what I'm about. Change that goddamn name! Jesus Christ! Anyway, I'm able to set up the, the stuff rocks after I destroyed the substitute initially with the thunder, but I don't want to stay in because thunder has like this good insurance is all state. But anyway, yo, he brings in this boy, Ladias, and destroys me with hidden power fire. So I'm thinking, like, at first, why the hell did you switch up? My boy got an actually with spice, man. I'm wavy. Plus, at that, you don't even have a spinner. He brings out his boy, Rashonda. Oh my god, what are you doing, son? Please don't tell me you got no guys on your team named Daquan or Rashawn or Deshaun or something like that. Like, oh my lord. I'm able to take out the requires. I gotta switch out because this is an Arceus Steel. Go straight into my Arceus normal, son. I am the true god. God comes in all different kinds of forms. I'm not gonna hide behind no kind of plate. I'm gonna show you that life form damage. But not really because he scores a burn on me, which cuts my attacking power in half. I'm like, crap, I can't do all two much to this thing plus he has to recover so i'm like all right maybe i could paralyze this thing so that my other threats that i have on my team won't be outsped by this thing and hopefully i could probably get off a nice little focus blast on this thing i survived and he's like man you survived with five hit points i'm like son it don't matter i got the focus sash he's able to go for another calm mind i'm like you know what i gotta deal with this thing right away super fast baby and then at this point on skype a star is like yo kashif don't guess what baby i got the willowers for physical sweepers and i got the calm minds to sponge on your special hits i'm the God, baby, but how you claiming to be God? You missed the will with son. Jesus would never make that mistake, son. I'm gonna go for the bulk strike again, almost take it out. He's gonna retaliate back on the judgment. Not enough for the plus one only to finish off my Zekrom. And I hit all three of my bulk strikes, son. Get at me, son. You came a whole generation before me, and you let a backseat clown like Zekrom take full throttle. When you sit in the passenger side, Arceus, you're not real, baby. I'm the real Arceus. What you talking about, son? Look, look how well I take that Draco Media. Look how well I take it. Not really. I'm just going to die for the burn afterwards. But then I couldn't keep my uh, Zekrom in after I'm locked onto the Bolt Strike on Eladia. So I'm just going to go for the Outrage again. Because I definitely do want to take out his Lugia. It's nice that I'm able to set up the rocks. And then maybe I can just figure out I could probably take that out. And then maybe on later on take out the Eladia. So Eladia isn't really too much of a problem to me. But the Asus defense kind of stalls me out in a sense. I guess he brings in Latias again because he knows that he needs Lugia more so than he needs the Latias. So now that I'm confused, he feels free to bring in his Laquana again. And I guess she's like full up on food stamps because she's going to set up another substitute again on me. And then I'm like, you know what? At this point, I really wish I had like Thunderbolt or Thunder or something like that on my Palkia instead of like uh, Fire Blast in this case scenario. He's going to go for the roost and I guess his strategy is to stall me out. And this time I actually paid attention to when Lugia came in. So it's confirmed that it is multi-scale. So I'm going to have a hell of a tough time with this thing. The critical hit didn't do anything just because of the multi-scale. So I'm going to have to intertwine between switching between Zekrom as well as Palkia to deal with this big ass threat. I'm gonna go for the outrage again just to break the substitute again. I don't want to lock myself in the bolt strike because this guy still has Giratina. It'll be kind of pointless for me to switch out um, being that I'm locked onto bolt strike and then he could just come with the Giratina and kill off one of my dragons with the Draco Meteor. I don't want that happening. So I'm just gonna go for outrage. I'm kind of reluctant to do so because I knew at this point that Dragon Claw would 
finish off his substitutes so that you kind of like have to start between not using the substitutes as well as roots if you want to join them down all my dragon claws that I have left with the deck from but at that case in the real I did have to go for the outrage I keep repeating myself again he's back at full HP oh my lord man this Lugia is really getting on my last nerves and it's kind of a little bit of a stally match at this point because that's kind of what his um, ideal is he misses the dragon tail it takes two spatial rents to finish this clown off man because of the multi scale so I know that one oh my lord and I missed the spatial run and this guy still has a substitute up oh my gosh this is not looking all good at me at all but since this multi scale is broken I can now break his substitutes with the dragon claw which is at a point where I kind of want to be but since he has the dragon claw and the earthquake Zekrom is in deep shit so I'm gonna have to like Wow, man, so switch right back out into Zekrom again, kind of being a little bit more sacrificial with it, I guess, because I could just lock myself with the Dragon Claw again, and then he's going to go for the Dragon Tail, I guess teasing me, because he could have actually finished me off with the Earthquake, I believe, that particular amount of HP, but he's going to go for the Roost, so he gets his um, multi-scale up going again, um, he's going to hit me with another Dragon Claw, I guess, predicting me to switch out into my Palkia, I'm just going to go and use Spatial Run at this point, but a freaking miracle happens, he switches out into Giratina, oh, I go for the Fire Blast, and I'm like, yes, this is awesome, because now I'm going to switch back out into Lugia, I'm able to take this, ah, I was so happy, look at that, damage, Lugia, that's what you get, he's like, yo, I hate life, I'm like, you shouldn't have switched, what you doing, A-Star, you're about to get destroyed by Palkia, I created space, what you know about this, what you doing? Bye. 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 Bye.